Yo, what is good YouTube and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be doing gameplay with the new Diamond Kelly Oubre Jr. Now, I actually got lucky enough to pull this card in one pack. I ripped one single of these primetime packs and I pulled Kelly Oubre. So honestly, I feel kind of blessed about that. I typically do not have good pack luck as y'all have probably seen from the couple pack openings I've done this year, but I did pull this Kelly Oubre Jr. in literally one single. So I'm pl pretty pleased about that. Definitely gonna make a profit on him as well if I do decide to sell him back. But uh, honestly, it looks like a really solid card on paper. So I'm excited to use him and see what he's capable of he is a shooting guard small forward which i think does give him extra values the fact that he can play that shooting guard position because a small forward power forward he probably wouldn't be quite as good being able to play that shooting guard position with his size and his player build is probably going to make him a very solid card uh, before we hop into this video if you haven't make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 2500 subscriber mark on the channel we're less than 40 subscribers away from that mark i would really appreciate your support if you haven't already if you do hit that button so we can hit that goal within the next couple of weeks that'd be super cool but uh, without further ado let's hop right into it and see what kelly Ubre jr is looking like he's got 94 offense, 90 defense, 6 foot 7 height, 90 driving layup, 85 draw foul, 90 close shot, 93 point shot, and 88 mid range with a 90 driving dunk. Really nice statistics. 86 ball handles, well, so he can speed boost, 86 steal, 84 perimeter, decent rebounder with an 88 speed and excel, 84 speed of ball, and an 84 lateral quickness. Statistically, he looks like a top shooting guard in my team. 85 driving dunk tendency as well is very, very solid. And then defensive tendency wise got a 60 pass interception 55 on ball steal which isn't bad with 75 concess shot tendency as well so his defensive tendencies are decent as well also it comes with four hops which are green machine alt hot zone hunter volume shooter and slippery off ball in addition to 22 golds to include catch and shoot corner specialist uh difficult shots fearless finisher acrobat break starter glue hands interceptor post drives off ball pest pogo stick pro touch slither finisher bailout set shooter space creator tight handles unstrippable bullet passer limitless takeoff fast switch and triple threat juke as well as seven silvers which are teardropper handles for days quick first step needle threader stop and go unpluckable and sniper also you can upgrade all of his silver badges except for the quick first step badge which is actually nice um so you can upgrade his sniper and his handles for days as well if you do want to use this card on your squad and then he can also get a bunch of good badges he can get badges like dimer uh pick dodger chase down artist clamps intimidator so definitely can get a lot of good defensive badges in addition to um so a couple of those shooting badges like a chef or a dead eye one of those badges might be nice to add to him as well but definitely would add the clamps the chase down artist the intimidator the pick dodger those four badges to help him out defensively really have that potential to push this card to that next level at the shooting guard position all right, let's see what Kelly's got in freestyle. Uh, he's got an 88 speed. He's got a good player build at the two. I think he's going to have really nice size. His dribble style isn't one of those elite dribble styles, but this card is a guy, guy, guy that I feel like I got to compare to somebody like Jalen Brown. Um, the question is, can he play defense close to the level of a Jalen Brown? Because offensively, I think he gives you a lot of what Jalen Brown gives you. Release wise, um, it's not like the fastest release, but it is very smooth. I'm not granting it, but I'm coming up slightly late on a lot of them, which actually is probably a good sign. So it's probably a little bit quicker than I, th than I think. And now that I'm speeding up his jumper a little bit i'm starting to get that timing down in green consistently and it is definitely a quick enough jumper to get off consistently um dribble sigs wise let's see what his full court dribble sigs are looking like he comes with uh not the greatest behind the back or between the legs so he's not going to be a primary ball handler with his half court or full court dribble sigs so that's something to note you're going to want to play him next to a primary ball handling point guard whether that's an isaiah thomas or a steph curry or somebody along those lines but if you are going to use this card i think you really do have the potential to play, have a lot of success with him he moves the ball he moves pretty well he's got good speed um his dunk animations seem nice he's got great size at the shooting guard position defensively if you add those badges to him i think he's going to be really good and statistically he's one of the best shooting guards in the game so on paper i think kelly Oubre has a lot of potential and i'm very excited to use this card so let's hop into a game and see what kelly Oubre can do all right hop into this game let's see what we can do with kelly Oubre. got a what the let's see what kelly Oubre can do run around run around run around in circles hit the top chill chill we do have the sexiest man in the nba on our team so if we can't get buckets now i mean i don't know what to tell you i'm not gonna lie to you hit the corner oh yeah kelly pull up good shot baby that's green i like that that's good stuff Let's see if we can keep it going or get us going on the defensive end of the court. Put him next to a primary ball handler. Like Clay Thompson moves like a primary ball handler. That's really the goal to me is to just effectively be able to play. If you can play him next to a primary ball handler, that's where he's going to be most effective, basically. Behind the back, stop on the break, pull up. Kelly Oubre again. Easy greens. Two, two of them to start off the game. Kelly Oubre showing why he is potentially the chicken man. He's got a nice little jumper. Uh, I did not expect his jumper to be, to be as good as it is, uh, to be completely honest. Almost got a chase down block from Clay there as well. But uh, definitely like what I'm seeing out of him so far. I really do think his jump shot is probably going to go a little bit under the radar because it's not one of the most like typical jump shots. It's a lefty jumper. It looks a little odd. But it is easy, easy to you're easy to green as i i mean as you can see he is absolutely chicken three out of three to start off the game definitely what you do want to see out of a shooting guard card somebody who can knock down the three-pointer at a high level good d kelly oh yeah let's go get me a stop baby is he gonna be out of here 
He's out of here already. Great start by Kelly Oubre doing his thing. Let's hop into another game. Keep it going with the man. All right, get it to Kelly. Let's go. Keep it going in the second game. Come on, drag back. Yes, sir. He's uh, being guarded by, I think that's Bruce Bowen. So this is not going to be an easy matchup for sure because Bruce Bowen is an elite defensive card. As I start off with a bad shot, I will not lie. Uh, but stop on the break. Kelly Oubre wide open. We're going to have to pull that up. We shoot a full bar and it goes in. Let's go. Good stuff by Kelly Oubre. His jump shot, honestly, is really, really nice. I remember in previous years, I feel like Kelly Oubre's jumper last year especially was a little bit slow. Um, this year, that does not feel like that is the case. His jumper is very easy to green. It's quick. Why are my icons glitched? My icons glitched because he got a, I got a tip in that possession. Did he get the steal? That's so annoying. That that's a thing. But well, I guess we'll on ball. Come on. Give me a steal. Ah, I almost got the steal. Or the block. That's fine. Push and transition. Yes, sir. Get it to D-Rob because he's wide open. He's going to help off somebody. If you help off Clay, we're going to shoot with Clay. Man. Yes, sir. Clay is absolutely chicken. I love what I see out of that card. But um, yeah, I'm really liking what Kel Kelly Urbe gives you. I mean... He's, there's there's definitely value to having a guy like him on the court, especially if he, if you add those defensive badges to him, because he's got great size. The two, if he becomes a really nice defender as well, look at that hall, that gold interceptor already triggering. If he can become a good defender as well, he really has the potential to be a top tier shooting guard in my team. Um, and with those defensive badges, I really do think he can be a good defender. He's already getting steals, playing lanes. That length is super valuable at the shooting guard position, of course. Oh yeah, good D. Yep, trail. Yes sir. Uh, whoa, why are we sliding? He's still got a little bit of a contest, though. Board it. Yes, sir. Push and transition. Pump fake. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Blow by. To the rim. Kelly. I kind of forced. D up, Kelly. Yes, sir. Pick oh, force the pickup. Yes, sir. I'm really liking that. He doesn't even have clamps, and he's forcing the pickup like that. Good defense. Blah. Yes, sir. Give me that. You got baited. Throw it ahead to Kelly. Throw it down for me, Kelly. Oh, you cannot be getting blocked there. The blocks in this game are so OD, bro. It is so hard to get a legitimate score because you're just going to get blocked and, like, or a legitimate dunk because they're just going to get blocked. It's really annoying, but it is what it is. I'd like to see more context be able to be gotten in this game a few more anyway because uh, I think the dunking is something that's nice in the game, and when you're not able to get any context or anything, it's kind of annoying. But that being said, Kelly is doing his thing. Get to the rim. Give me a nice contact layup. There we go. We'll get contact layups. Can't get contact dunks, but he does get a nice contact layup there, which we will take any day of the week. D up. Let's go. All right. Get the ball to Kelly. Isolate. Go to the rim. Give me a con. Oh, yes. That's a good dunk animation right there. I like that. Throwing it down. He's got that 90 driving dunk as well. Does everything at a really high level, I feel like, in all honesty. So definitely a very, very solid card at the shooting guard position. Defend. Hand. Good. Good. Get through. I guess not. Go corner. Yes, sir. Good D. Jump at him. Yes, sir, Kelly. Great D, man. I like that. I love that length. He's going to be able to uh, get those contests with how long he is. It's very valuable. So I think that's really good at the shooting guard position to have. Um, hit the corner. You're not going to guard him. I'll make you pay. You're out for three. We will take that. And um, yeah, Kelly's length has made that happen. So I like to see that. What do you mean by that? Need two more buckets. Let's see if we can close it out these next couple possessions. Run around. Hit the top. You know what? Screw it. If you're not going to guard David Robinson at all, I'm just going to agree my shots with D-Rob. I mean, you're you're leaving him wide open. Kelly's done his thing in both these games. I'm not going to force it to Kelly. If you're going to give me the bucket, I'm going to take it. And as I say that, I leave him wide open as well. He can't green, but it doesn't matter because you don't have to green in this game. See if we can get a pick and pop going right here. If we can get the pick and pop to Kelly, that'd be great. Otherwise, we'll just hit D-Rob. Send him on a back cut. Should be an easy bucket. And it wasn't, but we do get another wide open look with Kelly and knock it down. That's going to do this game in. So Kelly, 13 points, three steals, five and nine, three or four from three. Played really good in that first game as well. Great performance all around from Kelly or Bridge. And you really like what I saw out of the card. Let's hop back into the main menu and review the card. All right, in conclusion, I was impressed with what Kelly Oubre Jr. gave me. What I will say, I'm going to replace him with an emerald so that I can compare him to somebody like Jalen Brown. I feel like a Jalen Brown is a great comparison for him. They're both buyouts. Kelly's definitely going to be cheaper. I think you'll be able to get this Kelly Oubre for 40 or 50,000 T. Um, he's, he's an inch taller than Kelly Oubre. He's got great size at that small forward position. Statistically, he's the better card on the offensive end of the court. Uh, defensively, Jalen Brown's going to be a slightly better card, but if you add those defensive badges to Kelly, it's not by a significant amount. And then speed-wise, they're basically the same. I do have a plus three speed speed on acceleration shoe on Jalen Brown, so that helps him out. But they basically have the same speed speed on acceleration, if not for that uh, shoe. And then lateral quickness-wise, Jalen is a little bit better as well, but that shoe does help boost it as well. So defensively, Jalen Brown is going to be the slightly better card as well as with the Hoff pick dodger. But offensively, I think... 
Kelly Oubre Jr. is probably the better card. Um, they're both very, very good, close to each other cards. And I know people are saying Jalen Brown is a top two shooting guard in the game. And do I agree with that? Yes. Uh, Jalen Brown is my second favorite shooting guard in my team right now. But that being said, I think Kelly Oubre is right there. He's in that next tier of top shooting guards in my team. Like I legitimately think this card could be used in a competitive setting and you can have a lot of success with him running it. It's a lot of success running him. Like if you can't afford a Clay Thompson, you can run Jalen Brown and Kelly Oubre Jr. as your shooting guards. I think he's right on that Jalen Brown Kobe level of shooting guard. And he's definitely a very, very good card that I highly recommend a lot of people run if you do need a very good shooting guard in my team. So that is gonna do it for this video. Hopefully it did help you out. If you did enjoy, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe and I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.